Hello, welcome to Tim's Tiny Arcade. And today we are gonna talk about Activision and um, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the letters that I still own um, that I received from Activision when I uh, used to get the high scores. And back in the day, you used to be able to get a patch if you met those scores by taking a Polaroid picture or whatever, sending it to them. And if you you know met that score, they would send you a patch. And I still have a few of the letters um, from back in the day and I'll show you a few of the patches um, I've got them kind of framed as you can see we'll take a cl closer look at them and this one here is for enduro but uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today is patches and uh, taking a look at some of the Activision um, letters they sent to you back in the day so let's just go ahead and jump right into it guys <laughs> of Duke Nukem and you're watching Tim's Tiny Arcade mother effer all right guys so here is we're gonna start with Enduro this is the letter they that they would send to you if you uh, met the requirements um, to earn that patch let me go ahead and just pick it up here and uh, I've got these all in um, picture frames to try to keep them a little bit nicer uh, we'll read a few of these. We won't read all of them. This one says, Dear National Enduro Circuit Competitor, gear down for a moment, take a break, loosen your helmet, and ease out of the driver's seat. We'll make it short. We know you can't linger for long. The road is out there waiting for you, and you were born to drive to see those miles scrolling by in the brilliant blur of cross-country racing. Otherwise, you never would have made it uh, this far. But wipe off your goggles and take a look at this. You're in the Road Busters Club. Uh, enclosed is your patch. Wear it proudly. You deserve it. Uh, to be a little proud, you have endured. Now get back on the road. We told you uh, we'd make it short. Yours truly, uh, Jan Marcella, um, the gear, uh, game chairman. So... This is the letter that they would send out, um, and then the, at the, right at the bottom, a lot of them, they tell you uh, how you'd seal these uh, patches um, on the something. So that one was for Enduro, um, and I also have all my patches um, in this case here. Right here in the bottom left is the Activision Road Busters patch. Um, yeah, that was a that was a one of the tougher ones I think to earn if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at another one here. Next patch we're going to take a look at is ice hockey. This was uh, the game that you would have to uh, beat the computer in to earn this patch. I would have to say this is probably one of the easier patches to earn. Um, here's the letter that they would send to you. Uh, let's read it real quick here. Dear Activision Ice Hockey Star, congratulations on beating the Activision computer on game one. So, of all the patches, this is one of the easier ones I think you could get. We've recorded your score and enrolled you in the Activision's All-Star Hockey Team. Please find your official emblem enclosed. We have added your name to our mailing list and will keep you informed on new Activision game cartridges as they become available. That was always cool because you got to remember we didn't have the internet back in the day. So to find out what was new was coming was always pretty cool. Um, right here it then said thank you for writing to share your accomplishment with us. We hope you have as much success with other video game cartridges by Activision that you'll write us about your experiences with them. Um, this was also signed by uh, Jan Marcella, Customer Relations. Um, Take a look at the patch for that one here. Um, All-Star Hockey, right here, that was the patch. At the end, I will show you guys all the patches that, um, that I still have um, from back in the day. So the next one was probably one of the harder ones to get, at least for me it was, and that was uh, getting the gold medal in uh, Activision's Decathlon. So here's the actual cartridge for that one. Um, this one you'd have to take your controller, your joystick, and go back and forth. 
I think I broke a few controllers with this game. Um, here is the letter that I received as a kid. Uh, Dear Activision uh, Decathlete, uh, sure you're good, nobody ever doubted that, but when you quietly told your friends that scoring more of that 10,000 points in the Activision Decathlon was not unthinkable, that it was, in fact, without the realm of possibility, well, maybe they thought you were a little crazy. Um, of course, they forgot about uh, was dedication, the kind it takes place uh, to the Olympic Games in the first place, the kind that dwells only in the heart of a champion. Congratulations, enclosed is your gold medal. We know the incentive to jump higher, run faster, throw farther, and try harder is particular uh, because the deepest reward of competition is the striving, not just in the end results. Well, you, well, you gold medalists are the best. Yours truly, uh, Jan uh, Marcella. So, the L Lady Jan Marcella, Activision Olympic Committee Chairman. So, yeah, that patch here, um, let me look here, is right here. That one I know goes for quite a bit, like on uh, eBay. I mean, you could get uh, a bronze or a silver uh, with different scores or whatever. But uh, that one was definitely one of the harder ones for me to earn. All right, let's take a look at the last uh, last uh, game that I have letters for. So the last uh, two letters that I own are actually for the same game, Robot Tank. There was different levels that you could get. Um, this one here was for the Medal of Merit. And the one on the left here was for the Cross of Excellence. This was the game, Robot Tank. Excellent game. If you like Battle Zone, um, you would, you might like this one. It had a lot of weather conditions, kind of like Enduro had weather conditions. This one had weather conditions. But uh, I only have one of the patches, and I have the uh, Medal of Merit, and I do not have the Cross of Excellence. I don't know what that got lost um, back in the day. I'll, I'll read this one here real quick. This is the Medal of Merit. This is the, the one that I. For the for the patch I own and have, um, it says uh, condition red emergency military's most sophisticated defensive system, the dreaded and lethal robot tank division gone haywire. All western sectors endangered. Um, that was the situation. Response it says sighted commander guided squadron into the brunt of cybernated rampage. Personally responsible for the destruction of 48. Uh, four squadrons of computerized mindless monsters with a display of ice, icy nerve. The commander braved uh, muscular uh, environments, rain fog or night fog, as well as crippling near hits and enemy rocket fire. Facing the robot foe of a barren plane, the commander steamed his relentless advance towards civilian metropolitan centers. Result. Uh, says here civilization slumbers peacefully tonight enclosed is the prestigious medal of merit patch activision's world headquarters sends congratulations and advises the commander to wear it proudly uh, citation uh, authorized by jan um, so she signed all these letters i won't read the other letter but uh, let's take a look at the patch i have for that one um, right here in the middle is the Activision Medal of Merit. So I, I do have a few of the letters still, you know, which is pretty cool. Uh, we'll take a look at the other patches here. Um, you know, some of these are starting to uh, age and get, uh, you know, some brown on them and stuff. But this is the best way I think I can preserve them. It was always cool getting those in the mail and earning those uh, patches. So let's go ahead and take a look at these patches a little closer. So at the top there, that one was for Freeway. Now that one is a uh, reproduction. I did get the score and bought that one on eBay. That's the only one that is not a uh, patch from my childhood, but I did get the score on that. And I kind of wanted, they had them for like really cheap on eBay and I bought one. Um, there's the Kaboom one. I think you needed like 3,000 points um, back in the day uh, to get that one. Um, and then if you guys know about uh, Circus uh, Convoy, 
um, you can earn a patch for that. Those, the guys, uh, the Kitchen Brothers and uh, David Crane, um, you can earn different patches from them if you get their game. And they were Activision developers, and I added that one to it. Uh, there's that gold decathlon one. Here's the Chopper Command one. I think that one was a pretty easy one to earn back in the day. There is the Pitfall one, which was pretty cool to uh, earn back in the day also. Um, one of the best games on the on the Atari 2600. We looked at the All-Star Hockey one. Stampede was another one I um, earned back in the day. I think you needed, you can tell me wrong in the comments, but I thought it was 3,000 points. We just looked at Robot, Robot Tanks, um, Medal of Merit. This is another one that came from uh, Audacity, uh, Audacity Games. Um, you know, from the, the Circus uh, Convoy, they sent a patch out. I put that in there. Star Master, you can earn different patches, and there's one that I earned. And then the last one is uh, Enduro's Road Busters. I'm really lucky to have all these patches still in my collection, and even luckier, even have some of those letters still. All right, so that was a quick look at some of the letters that uh, I still personally own and some of the patches I, I still have. Um, it was a special time and back in the day to earn those, and I it, that really drove me back in the day. And Activision was my favorite company for the Atari 2600. Not just, they just had great games, and I love competing for those patches. So I kind of wanted to share the letters because you know, they're, they're probably pretty rare, I would guess, at this point. Um, probably a lot of them got thrown away, uh, you know, back in the day, but, uh, I'm lucky to have those and then still most of my patches. Um, and I still want to, I always still want to compete for those patches. So, uh, you can look them up online, the scores you needed to get and stuff. And you could buy them on eBay if you really wanted to, um, try to earn some of those patches. Uh, Alien Abduction, I'll be doing a video on that in the near future. I've got that coming. That's another game. I believe you can earn a patch from uh, Audacity Games. So look for that video in the near future also. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. Like always, please like and subscribe and uh, keep on gaming.